everybody, this is Viel and I am back with another video for you guys and today's video is going to be sort of a teaching video for you guys and it is only because I've been talking about Korean dramas on this channel and I kind of get a thought that what if the people watching this um this videos don't know that much about Korean dramas. Thus, today's video is going to be Julep's introduction to Korean dramas or Korean dramas 101. Yay! And I am going to do a rundown of probably about 50 most common terms in Korean dramas that you, as possibly a new viewer and also a possible Korean drama fanatic, might want to know. And first word up the list, I'm going to try to do like very, very quick sentence summaries of the definitions for these words. And the first up is K-dramas. Pretty explanatory. Korean dramas. Dramas that are usually from the three broadcasting networks in Korea, SBS, KBS, or NBC, or the many, many cable dramas. Um, not cable dramas, I mean cable channels in Korea, like JTBC or TVN. And this pretty much means an episodic show um, in Korea. That is K-drama. Next up, how you, how you means the how you wave, which is pretty much encompasses the prolification of Korean culture into other countries in the world, in Asia, in America, in Europe, and part of it is Korean dramas, K-pop, size Gangnam style. Yeah, that's pretty much part of how you wave, and also. Call you for the greater first half of the century in the early 2000s means Korean dramas that are exported and watched by other international viewers around the world. So that is how you wave. And next up, Chungmuro. Chungmuro is kind of like Hollywood in Korea. It is the all-encompassing envelope and umbrella that talks about Korean films or just movies made in Korea. And that would be Chongmuro. Next word is Ajuma. Ajuma or Ajuma or something like that. Usually said in that fashion. Ajuma are usually the older women in Korean dramas that uh, usually have an unsightly perm and wears really oldish clothing. And they usually refer to the older women in a Korean drama that's not very stylish. Ajuma. They're usually pretty fierce too. The male equivalent is Ajushi or Ajushi. Ajushi. Ajushis are the male equivalent of Ajuma, older men in Korean dramas, usually wearing a beer belly and has like knee high white socks and slippers and in general are kinda unsightly, sort of. <laughs> or yeah, that what's that is what Ajumas are. Or ajushis. Why did I say that? Ajushis. Next word. Chebol. Chebol just means a multi-million dollar company in Korea. Such as like probably Samsung or Hyundai or LG. Um, and a Chebol heir is usually the son or sometimes the daughter of a huge corporation uh, conglomerate. CEO of a conglomerate and usually the table air is usually the prince charming character in Korean dramas Which usually they're pretty like childish stubborn and in general prickly and not easy to get through but usually it's what the air heroines end up the female lead end up um, Changing throughout the Korean drama and they end up changing to be the real prince charming So that's what chebol is and chebol airs Banjun. Banjun just, just simply means a twist, a plot twist, a character twist, a personality twist, or even a time twist, a time jump in a Korean drama. Any Banjun drama means that there is some sort of a twist towards the end of the drama and something to watch for. Banjun. Dong Seng. And we're going to reach into these like relationship type of words in Korean dramas. Dongseng just means a female or a male younger person in a Korean drama. It could be a familial relationship or just like friend friendly relationship but Dongseng is what you call that. 
Usually most people who are younger in a Korean drama are don't sings. Next word is Nuna. Nuna. Sometimes it is attached to Dongseng. Nuna, Dongseng romance. Usually a Nuna is the older female when spoken from a male speaker. And usually if it's a Nuna, Dongseng relationship, it is like a May, December relationship, sort of. And a Nuna is usually kind and beautiful and pure and just so irresistibly seductive to a younger Dongseng that, you know, they have this huge crush. And that would be a Nuna. Next word is a Hyung. Hyung is that older guy, older bro, uh, that a male speaker would say as. It's like Hyung is like bro in Korean. And Hyung is usually the male older brother, older friend, or older male friend of a male speaker. And sometimes when female dong sings or girls, young girls, would say... Hyung, it means sometimes that they're tomboyish and they're trying to be cute to a uh, older man, but that is what Hyung is. Next word, oppa, which is pretty much the weapon of choice of any cutesy type of Korean dramas because this is what the female protagonist calls an older boy or older man in her life and usually does it with like an oppa pout wiggle, which is a oppa. Oppa, which I can't do very cutely. Anyways, that is what oppa is. It is the older brother or older male friend spoken from a female speaker. Oppa. Next up is Oni. Oni is usually your older cousin, older female friend that is speaking, spoke speaking, spoken from a female perspective, a female speaker, and Ani is usually the reliable, you know, girl that you can tell all of your problems to and have girl talk with, and that would be your Ani. Next word is a uh, makjang. Makjang is just the very ridiculous, ridiculous plot lines that are often weirdly thought out in Korean dramas, including and mostly bird secrets that would involve somebody's secret like brother or sister or their secret son or daughter or they have they discover that that killer is actually dun 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 their dad or something and usually that is the makjang concept usually it's very teary melodramatic and weepy and just ridiculously made a lot of Korean dramas who are that are actually a big hit in Korea right now are actually makjangs and there's nothing wrong with them they're enjoyable Next word is Seguk. Seguk just plainly means historical drama. There's a lot of variations on this word Seguk. And oftentimes there are about 40 to 50 episodes ish. They're very long costume period dramas. They're very lush and beautiful cinematography and usually would involve palace politics and all of that. And there is also variations on this word, which are fusion Seguks, which is blended with some modern sensibilities. There is also a romantic seguk like The Moon Embraces the Sun which is a love story but set in a period historical time in Korea and there is also a fantasy seguk like Jeon Won Chi right now which involves like wizards and like magical powers and it's also seguk because it's historically set. Usually a lot of episodes and that would be seguk. That was a very long-winded explanation. Okay, Matsyeon. Matsyeon is usually an arranged meeting or arranged marriage between characters, usually perpetuated by very strict control of parents in Korean dramas. And they're usually the ones who try to marry off their daughters in a Matsyeon to an older chebol or just somebody who's really rich and well-off. And that would be a Matsyeon. Sometimes it happens with a uh, male character as well and then they wanted to marry to a female character that is also well off just for business purposes and it could be a matzun. So gating is also related to matzun. So gating is like a group date with lots of alcohol in Korean dramas. It is like a blind date almost of groups of younger folk. Um, sometimes yeah, like young adults as well. And that would be a so gating, a blind date in Korea or in Korean dramas. Soju, the drink of choice in Korea. It is the liquor of choice. It is a clear, very strong alcoholic drink that I have tried and actually, 
yeah, like one shot would like actually kill me and knock me out and put me to sleep. But that is soju. It tastes good, but it is very potent. Soju, usually the drink that makes usually demure girls in Korean dramas go crazy and start like doing crazy things and usually drunk in places like this. Uh, Pojang Mancha, which is a street side stall in Korean dramas. Usually this is where the Korean drama characters just want to drink soju and lay down their woes and usually eat a lot of gross street foods and just weep about their misfortunes in life. And that would be a Pojang Mancha, which is a street side restaurant or stall. Almost done! Sunbae, or also related is Hubei. Sunbae is your older in rank or higher in rank in relationship in school, a higher grade in school, or at work, your boss, or your immediate supervisor. Sunbae and Hubei is the opposite, which is lower in rank or lower in grade. Yeah, usually somebody, a girl with a crush on a co-worker, male co-worker, would say, I like that Sunbae, he's so adorable, he's so cute, and it sort of kind of like oppa sort of last word is uljang uljang is a beautiful beautiful face literally means best face jang means best and ul means face i think so pretty much it's somebody who is just gorgeous and beautiful in korean dramas and is popular in the internet for their beautiful gorgeous face variations include Momjang, which is beautiful body, six pack for a guy, or a sexy, sexy waist for a girl. And that would be the rest, that would be all the words that I have for you guys. And if there are other words you need or would want me to discuss about Korean dramas, please comment down below and let me know. Also, subscribe for more videos like this and also more.